the good news is, is the sun kind of came out. All right, guys, it's... <laughs> Mimi, you're just gonna sit right on it. Yeah, is that what you're gonna do, baby? Think I got it. Think I got it. Guys, good morning. Today, we are doing this solar robot. It's nice and sunny outside. <laughs> Perfect day to do a solar robot, you guys. It's nice and sunny out. Bro, can you see this? You can actually do six different versions. You can do like a space dog and then five others. I'm assuming that you could probably like build it and take it apart and build it and take it apart. Right out of the gate. How about we do the rover, bro? Oh, oh. whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's all seasoned. Ooh. Whoa. What are these? Oh, stickers. And then we have gears. Oh, we have a battery pack. Bib, we just did this for the paper airplane launcher. Dude, I don't remember what it was that we built, but one time we took these and we thought that the proper move was to go ahead and just cut them all out ahead of time. And it basically bricked the whole thing. It ruined it. And I'm so glad that I had that memory because look at this. It says, cut the plastic pots when they are required. Do not cut them in advance. <laughs> so glad. Wow. Okay. Bib said the Mars Rova. Let us see here. All right, bros, scream if you see it. Mars Rover, there it is, bro. Power source, a micro rechargeable battery. Huh. The upper gearbox. Oh, wait a minute. This is made from like modules. Cause it says you take the upper gearbox. I don't know what that means, but then I come over here and it says the upper gearbox. There's a solar module, there's a space station, a landing gear, front wheel, solar module. Maybe it's just really early. Maybe my brain has holes in it. I don't know. Okay, this is solar module right there. See it, solar module? Then over here it says solar module. Do you go start here and go backwards? And if so, what's the upper gearbox? An upper gearbox is definitely needed. Sorry guys, it's early. I did not get the best sleep. I'm so tired. And you know what? I'm just gonna piecemeal this. I'm just gonna do one piece at a time, figure it out. We definitely need an upper gearbox, which is this guy right here, A6. Guys, let me know in the comments if you see an A6. Just, just holler it out. This is it right here. Mm. I have not done one of these in a very long time. Yo. It must be perfect. <laughs> There's another piece, it's called P9. You see that? You can't see anything, it's just like face. Ooh, Ooh batteries. Getting warmer. Yeah, that's it. I see it. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you serious? Guys, I've been looking for this piece. Do you guys see that? That little tiny, teeny tiny piece? For like 10 minutes. Okay, don't see. Ooh, okay. Wow, it's so small. If this goes on here, there we go. Oh, I see it because there's a little slot here. Boop, boop, bam. Look at that. Can you route the wire through here? I do not know why, but the picture has that, so I will do it. Oh, I get it. And this slides in here. Look at that. Manufacturing. <laughs> Looks like we need a B8. Which looks like it's this guy right here. Chop it. Chop it. Then we take this teeny tiny shaft and we add this teeny tiny thing on the end. Like one goes in this hole and then there's another shaft and that one goes in this hole right here. One yellow gear on the motor shaft and then the other motor shaft also gets a matching gear. Oh. Look at that. If these pieces keep getting smaller. I'm gonna need tweezers soon. All right, this goes on here. Okay, I think that gets influenced by the other ones. Cool, man. Then this purple gear gets right in here, this hole. And now they should all, ooh, listen. Oh, that's nice. That's super nice. A10, it looks like have caps to me. I think we need two of them, so one. And number two, Ugh. get it. Deeper and deeper. I don't know if it's super important. I just love using these tweezers. Yeah. Check out these teeny, 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 tiny tires. Oh, we're styling now, look at that. Ooh, big step. We're looking for an A2. I think it's this one. It looks like the matching part. Cut and cut. Oh, there's a third. I'm so excited, this is a big step. All right, the internals, I'm confident-ish that I got it right. Let's close up shop. This is likely backwards and upside down. Awesome, I am less confident. This is lining up, sort of. Okay, huh. it is. I'm sure I'm not supposed to force it, but uh, I'm about to. Let's see what's happening. This disc thing is not in its spot. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's add these teeny tires here. One, and number two goes here. Oh, you can hear the gears engaging. Now that we have the upper gearbox, it says to grab B13. I think that the gray piece is B. 13, 13, 13. There it is. This is starting to get very interesting. Cut, twist, and pull. Burr, and a burr, burr. Oh, I see, I see. They do talk to each other, like so. 
That was a lie. This is not going on. Do I force it? I'll do it. Ugh. Cool. It's much smaller than we thought. Because <laughs> we thought it was going to be this big. Look at it. Don't sneeze. B11. Ooh, I found it. Getting better at this. Chuppy, chuppy, chuppy. All right, we need two more tires. Most things have four. Man, this feels right side up and that feels upside down. That feels very upside down. But according to this, I think that this is right side up, which don't make no sense, man. Oh, it's got a little ball joint. Okay. Ugh. And then it rotates forward. Oh, dude, how interesting. So there are two ways to charge the micro battery. One is solar, which I think is this guy. Check this out, you guys. This is super cool. Look at this. And then what's the other way? Uh, battery module, which I guess is this. So I really want to do the solar. However, I don't know if we have the um, the sunlight for it. The coolest part about this is the fact that we can just use the sun. So that's what we're gonna do. B10, B10, the bird, 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 P5 times three. Right there. What are those stickers? Adhesive would be my guess. Oh, I see. Yep, everything is just so small. The sense of scale is so funny to me. I feel like a giant. This is just ridiculous. Oh, I've got something. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Perfection. Yeah, this is tweezer territory. It looks like there's a sticky something or other. Oh, it's on the this side. All right, I'll leave it on for now. It's a protective layer. There's a hole that goes through here. And then, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's peel it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's uh, this is a toy for ants, man. Uh, this goes back in here. This goes back around. And it should just fit. Oh, it fits like Dead Ringer. That's nice. Solar module attached. I'm wondering if this is the solar module. Is that the battery module? Because the connectors really only work in one spot. Thank goodness. All right, this goes back here. Boop. And then I think, think this thing just mounts on top, I think. Got it. But at what cost? Oh, no. Dude, you can angle it based on where the sun is. <gasps> That's so smart. All right, I'm gonna go peel this thing off. I deserve that. It's been a hard morning. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Wow, okay, real talk. The solar panel just made this little toy instantly cool. Look at it. Oh, okay, where's the glue? Oh, I get it, you guys. Okay, guys, I get it. Do you see this thing? This is the micro battery. So you have two options. One, you can plug this guy in, and I think it feeds directly from the sun into power, or you can unplug this. And then this guy will plug into here. And then once this is done, you give it like 10 minutes to fully charge this little micro battery. And then this micro battery gets put in here. Dude, I kind of want to just see what happens if I do this before we start charging the battery. The good news is, is the sun kind of came out. All right, guys, it's... <laughs> Mimi, you're just going to sit right on it. Yeah, is that what you're going to do, baby? Okay, guys, for sun... Mew, mew. I think I just want to leave the camera on. I'm like, let's see. I want to walk away and see if it can slowly make it. Okay, I am back. It's been five minutes. I need to check to see if it's actually moved. I should have put some mark. But look, I have a flashlight. This is a UV flashlight, and I use it for pull cue stuff when I make pull cues. Like, well, what is solar? Is it the UV? Why don't you move, little buddy? What are you doing? It's not very sunny today. Uh uh, what are you doing though? It's cute, babe. It's much smaller than I thought it was right. gonna be, and it's That's adorable. What I was saying to the camera, it's so small. It's so cute. Is that Mew Mew's new toy above us? Well, she keeps <laughs> sitting on it, man. <laughs> it's her egg. It's her egg. It's your egg, mama. You have a little space egg. It's your space TV. You're blocking the sun. Mew Mew. Okay, look, I read the instructions just now, and it said the only real way to get this to work is with bright, bright, direct, bright light. What I'm gonna do in the meantime, because this is just simply a cloudy day, and that's okay. We're gonna unplug this bad boy, and we are actually gonna do this. It says to do it for like 10 minutes. All right, we'll come back in 10 minutes. I just ate lunch. It's been a while. Let's see if you actually charged. I believe in your... Whoa, that scared me. How can something so small be so loud? Why are you so loud? Good grief. The power of the sun, you guys. I'm scared of this little guy now. Bro, why are you so loud? That was amazing. Hold on, let me see. I'm like scared of it turning on and... <laughs> Look, it's a conceptual toy, for sure. I don't think it's meant to win any races or anything, 
or win any quiet contests. <laughs> I think it's more of a proof of concept to show kids what it's like to power things by the sun. And for that, I give it five stars. Guys, if you want to check it out, I'll show you the box. It's called the Solar Robot. Build and learn. All right, guys, I'm out.